Hello and welcome to next video in series where we build project management tool with Waterfall and Google Spreadsheet. And as you remember in previous video, we connected our Google Spreadsheet to API flow and then connected it to Waterfall to show list of our spreadsheets as project list in dropdown. If you not watched that video, please watch it now. And we will proceed with our project development. And next, what I want to do, I want to show you how we will create the projects. And so we will create a sh new sheets in our Google sheet and we'll be able to add the new records to, dynamically to new created document sheets. So next, what I want to do, I have a new page. It's called create project uh, in my photo flow project. And I will redirect users to that page when I click create project button. So I go to action flow editor and add action, navigate to create project. That's all. So we will have navigation to create project page. And next at create project page, we will uh, map action of create project button to call backend query. And we will use API call that will allow us to create a new project and create a new tab in Google Spreadsheet. But first we need to go to create new sheet action here in API calls and check how we can create our, uh, how this action works. So we have title for our spreadsheet and we have headers list that we can predefine to be used in our new sheet when we create it. And as you can see, we have here some task fields like ID, title, work type, duet, and status. And we will define them here. So it will be same for all tabs. You add and status. So this is our headers. Let's check them. ID, title, work type, do add and status. And we want to define some title. So for title, we will create a new variable. We'll save it for now. And I will go and create a new variable called title. It will be type string without default value. And now I will place that variable here in my request body. So this is, will allow, allow us to create a new, new sheets in our Google spreadsheet. And now we can do some little test and see how it works. So you can see it returned us a new ID and name of our spreadsheet of our sheet and it created a new tab for us. So we will we will now connect this action to our page in Flutterful project called create project and here we will modify our action and we will select create new sheet action and set additional variable title and here we will use widget state title as project title and we will call it new project and when new project is successful we will simply redirect back to projects. So we have this page now configured to create a new projects 
let's check how it works. Let's test it together and see how it will work. So we have our application here and we have our projects list. Now we will create a new project. Let's call it, for example, Water for demo app. Create project. And we see a new tab created in the document and it returned to this list. And we see that we have here our spreadsheet and we have here our list of columns, our headers to define it in create shared action. In next video, I will show you how to query specific for our project tasks and how to render them in our table at uh, Flutterful page. And we will uh, check how we can actually manage state of application with different projects. So please check next video when it become available. And thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.